guys! This right here is my portable arcade machine that I easily made with my friends over the weekend. It's actually really easy to do since you're just making simple modifications to an arcade stick. The one I have right here is actually a Mayflash PS3 fight stick, and it's really really cheap. Upon opening up the fight stick, the parts were okay, but I wanted to give it some better parts. And I changed the appearance a bit too. Now first things first. We needed a Raspberry Pi 3, which is a super duper small computer used to run the arcade. With that, you can install the RetroPie OS, which lets you run emulators. There's lots of tutorials for setting this up. Now this is our first obstacle. There's a piece of plastic that was blocking off the bottom part where we could put the RetroPie, so we gotta get rid of it. Well, we tried scraping it off, but it barely made any progress. So we had to use better tools. And we just put a really, really strong tape to hold it. Now we needed to make holes in the side of the fight stick using Dremel tools. This side right here is for USB ports. This hole is for the port for powering it on. This one is for an extra USB port as well. And the one over there is for the HDMI port. And we simply just stuck everything with a glue gun. So we got an HDMI extender from the Pi all the way to this hole. Now we can plug an HDMI from the outside. USB extenders from here to the holes right here for player 1 and player 2. And right here as an extra. This is a micro USB extender that goes all the way here just so we can power it up from the outside. Also all these cables are all just one foot long. Now it's time to close it up. Now this may sound weird but we're actually going to plug the fight stick into itself. You see, I didn't want to make a fight stick where the sole function is just to work for the Raspberry Pi as keyboard mappings. I wanted to keep this fight stick's main function so that I could still bring it out everywhere and use it as a controller for tournaments and use it as an arcade console whenever we just want to play other games such as Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I know a lot of people in tournaments today don't use bad top anymore, so I have a ball top just in case anyone wants to borrow it. If you ever want to buy parts, I suggest going to Paradise Arcade because they have lots of cool options and they're pretty cheap too. Anyways, after plugging in everything, let's power this guy up. This right here is the main menu of RetroPie. You can choose any game console and just run off whatever ROMs you have on your SD card. Not all games run perfectly, but a lot of them still work, which is pretty awesome. Since we have more than one USB port, we can actually plug in a little fight stick and you can just bring it around, challenge your friends, or let your friends challenge each other. What the heck? Pretty cool having this around. Since all you need is a TV and an HDMI port, that's it. It's really portable. Now that's pretty much it. I just really want to show off what I've done over the weekend. I know it's kind of lazily made, but hey, I think it's actually a pretty cool idea. So yeah, before I end the video, I'm gonna say I'm actually working in a small game right now. If you guys want, just click subscribe and uh, let you guys try it out for free. It's something really small, but I think it's pretty awesome. Alright, see you guys! It's the Nutshack!